guys, if you miraculously, miraculously, wow, that's a big word. If you miraculously stumbled across this video, welcome and congratulations. Look at my backdrop. I got a black background like before. When This one takes me all the way back to when I first started making YouTube videos. When Back when I barely even knew anything about YouTube, how it worked editing anything actually here's a clip of me with the backdrop this black same black backdrop from when i first started over two and a half years ago here's a clip well this is the tripod i just put my camera stick on it to make it taller i got two of the professional lights this is the umbrella i'm waiting on the stand to come in the mail for the umbrella and i got the backdrop a piece I guess I mismeasured, wasn't long enough, so I had to improvise here at this point right here. Don't judge me. I had to improvise at that point, so. That was bad, right? It was horrible. I was, like, so awkward behind the camera. I was so proud of that thing. Like, I was like, I got a black backdrop. I was so happy. I didn't know what to do. I was, like, overly excited, like. Okay, you got a black backdrop. Like, whoop de doo, what's next? <sighs> this just takes me back to the OG days, the filming days, the regular camera days. This just, it's just historical. It's, it's like nostalgic for me. Yo, who is texting me, bruh? In the middle of making a video, somebody's texting me. <sighs> Let me go see who I got to cuss out. But, honestly, I don't even know what I'm going to do for this second video. I'm still wearing the same clothes that I've been wearing for like a day and a half now. What am I doing with my life? I'm seriously bumming it. I'm walking around the house doing a whole lot of nothing. I'm going back to my regular one day videos like daily starting next week sometime but i'm gonna do this i believe all the way up until friday can i record youtube videos is that too much to ask for but oh my god i'm going back to daily next week guys this isn't gonna last it's a lot harder i mean granted it's harder but I'm pushing myself to the limit, seeing what I can really do, what I can really endure, and going that extra mile, taking that extra step to get where I want to be in life, and just, I'm rocking it out, and doing what I got to do to get there, and it's working out so far, it's it's like okay, it's, it's working out good so far, it's okay so far, so my old videos suck, suck bad, and my voice was so Oh my god, I just could not make YouTube videos. Like, my voice was horrible. Not that it's got any better, but I think I'm going to take this video a whole nother direction and do a story time. So, let's get into a story time. I'm going to make it a quick one. So, if you guys don't know by now what you should, if you don't know who Taylor is, she's my girlfriend for almost five years now <sighs> ever since the beginning of me wanting to start YouTube before I start making videos on YouTube before I even got into YouTube or learned anything from YouTube she was the one that bought my first camera she was the one that bought my first computer I didn't know none of this I get a knock on the door it's the mail carrier with a package. I open the package. It say my name on it. It's a camera. Canon EOS something. It was a Canon EOS camera. And I'm like, where did I get a camera from? I asked my mom. I asked my dad. I asked my brother. My, even my grandma. Everybody said, that wasn't me that sent you a camera or bought you a camera. Or maybe it was a wrong address. Send it back. Or I was just confused. Like, and then Taylor called me like later on that evening, just before 
everything just transpired and she called me she said i bought you a camera it should be coming to your house today i said so you got this camera she said start making videos start creating videos start uh doing what you do so i started making videos start creating videos at this time i was working i was working 10 30 to 6 30. i would go to work at 10 30 i come home at 6 30 and still try and make vlogs or try to make videos for YouTube and it was kind of hard because it was already late I was already tired from work and I didn't have a computer that and all so I would just like record videos and like two weeks later she got me a computer too like it came and she said start creating videos and that's when I signed up for this video editing software I started making videos and from then on, I've been making videos on YouTube ever since she bought me my first camera. So if it wasn't for Taylor, I would have never started making YouTube videos. I would have never did YouTube. I always thought I wasn't good enough. But me and her, we have had a strong connection. We met on Facebook and we immediately hit it off. We became friends. And we as friends for, I say, about four months before we started dating because I think I was 18 and she was 17. I was an asshole, immature asshole back then. Like I would say, ha ha, you got acne, or ha ha this, ha ha that. Like make fun of her. And in her mind, it was like, why are you saying this stuff to me? Why are you saying this about me? And I'm doing all this stuff for you. In my mind, it was just me being me. I didn't realize it. It didn't click in my brain that I was being rude, being an asshole. It was like my immaturity took over everything. I used to talk so much about her. And that's why we was friends. And she felt unappreciated as a friend. Not only as a couple, which we wasn't, but she felt unappreciated as a friend. She just bought me maybe four, five hundred dollars worth of equipment, a camera, and a computer. And I was an asshole like that. I apologize to her for the longest. Once it finally clicked, it finally registered in my mind. What is wrong with me? Why am I doing this? Why am I this way? I apologized to her for like a week straight. And we started dating April 5th, 2012. It felt like the time was right. It's like, it was perfect timing. It was like meant to be like, spur the moment like, yes, I want this relationship. I want to be with you. I want you. And we started dating. And my life took a toll. We've been dating almost five years. I've never been devoted to nothing more for past, I think, three years. I was devoted to graduating high school. I was going to get out of high school. I was devoted four years. I was going to graduate. I devoted two and a half years here to YouTube. And now to think four and a half years, almost five years, to Taylor, to one human being like, it's crazy to think we've been together for so long and we've been through so much together so much that I don't even talk about in the videos so much ups and downs so much of just everything Taylor know exactly what we've been through you guys know some of what we've been through you don't know everything but if I told you everything you will have a whole different perspective like wow we on some Bonnie and Clyde, Beyonce and Jay-Z type stuff. But, yeah. That's, that's just it, guys. That's it. So, with that being said, never be scared to pursue someone. I was going to date Taylor. Rather, it killed me or not. I was going to do what I had to do to mature, slap myself, get myself in order. I wanted to date her. It was something about her. And then when I first seen her, I was like... Wow, you look even more beautiful in person than you do in pictures. Because you know how you see somebody in pictures. They they are right. But when I see them in person, I'm like, dang, that's who I'm about to be potentially dating? That's who I'm going to be hanging with or chilling with? Or... And I still get that same feeling every time I see her. Like, wow, you just look beautiful or amazing. Like, 
I was stunned because on the pictures, she looked okay. I'm not going to say she was ugly, but she was okay. She didn't look like how she looked in person. Like, in person, I was like, almost broke my neck trying to turn my head. Like, wow. You, 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 the ish. You the ish. And when I first seen her, I'm like, I'm going to date you. I'm going to date you. She just laughed and shrugged it off. <laughs> you see. Over them four, four months, I was consistent with trying to get myself out of the friend zone, basically. That's what I was trying to do. But four months trying to get myself out of the friend zone, I finally, finally did it. It felt like the timing was right. I finally, I think she asked me, or I believe she asked me. Yeah, she asked me, she said, do you want to date for real? Because I think the timing is right. And I said, yes, yes, a million times, yes. I remember it like it was yesterday. <sighs> Ever since then, we have built a connection that's unbreakable, unstoppable. We have everything that we could possibly want from each other. Like, like oh my God, she believed in me. And me on YouTube, like, even though I'm at, what, 200 subscribers, she still believe, <sighs> she still believe that one day I can grow. Even if I don't see it, she sees it, that one day I can grow. One day I'll be something great. One day. And it's just crazy. It's crazy. Just look at my lock screen. If it focus, come on camera. That is, come on camera. That is one of the best lock screens that you can have. Like, oh my goodness, she was gorgeous. I'm sorry guys, but seriously. I still don't know. I ask myself every day, how do I keep going? How do I keep going? How do I keep myself going? How do I keep persistent? How do I keep moving forward? How do I pick my feet up and make myself move forward? Not only in my relationship, not only in my career, not only in anything I do, but just wake up every day and just keep myself moving forward. I try and tell myself every day, you woke up this morning. Not many people woke up this morning. Not everybody could say they woke up. Uh, you got your sense of smell. Touch. Listen. Talk. You can hear. Every little thing now in life I learned to just appreciate. I may not be the best person ever. I may not be the most successful, the most handsome, the most caring, the most charismatic, whatever, but I am a human at the end of the day, and I do have a lot to offer, so, with that being said, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and end the video off there, I know it was mostly about me and my relationship, I'm sorry about that, but I just had to get that off my chest, but Taylor, if you're watching this video, call my phone, uh, call me, you know, hit me up like we used to do back in the day before we was dating, you know, we we talk on the phone from like 7 o'clock in the evening to like 4 or 5 in the morning, we stay up all night on the phone, like, just talking about nothing, we are so lame, <laughs> we is the lamest couple, but thank you guys for watching, smash that thumbs up button, I'll see you tomorrow, peace out guys.